Good morning, Lupa. Welcome to my channel and to this video. Another morning, another aim to see that every kid has everything they need to bring to school and preschool. That's a very strange sentence. Um, yesterday, I sent Tyrion to school with this big IKEA bag, and I told him every single thing that's on your shelf and in your cupboard and all that stuff in his little cubby like uh, at school put everything in here because i need to know what you have there because uh, i know that i like um sent with him uh, like extra clothes but that was in summer and i was like what does he actually have and because of covid we are not allowed inside the school only the kids and the and the teachers are allowed in the school so i told him Put everything there. Also, uh, he has brought four pairs of mittens to school and none of them have come back. So I just wanted to see uh, what we actually had. So right now it's completely empty at school. So I needed to kind of repack his bag. I now have, this is Tyrion's backpack. He loves it. I got it for him uh, when he started school a year ago and he, it's still intact. It's still whole, which is awesome and amazing. Um, and he loves it. Hey Miranda, can you say I go for a vlog? You wanna say hi to the luggage? Are you snotty? Mm, a little bit. A little bit. Good morning. But now we're gonna have some breakfast. And we're gonna have some breakfast the entire family together, which never happens in weekdays. So I am not complaining. You just want to play with them. Thank you. We've tried giving these little citrus to her. The boys love them, but she does not. So I guess she just wants to like play with them. We're home now. Michael's leaving Tyrion at school. So my morning school run or preschool run, I guess, was super short compared to what it's what it is usually. And now I'm just gonna start a load of laundry and I guess get started with my studying or maybe do some cleaning. We'll see. Dancing. That is so cute. You dancing? Oh yeah. <laughs> Shake it, baby. Let's go get the boys. We need to go get the boys from school. Come on, my cutie. <laughs> cutie pie. Let there be light. Yo. Yo. Sorry, couldn't see your face. Yo. You're too tall. <laughs> Carol. Det var vanligast de magneterna. Jag tror att de rundar sig platta. Jag var liten hade jag en magnet som så där. Vänta. There we go. Det var en måla för det. Miran. Do you like the food? <laughs> no, no, no. No touch you with those little dirty hands. <laughs> I think she likes the food. You act like you haven't been fed in a week. 
What's going on? Is it that good? <laughs> You're so funny. Ew. You're dirty. Ew. Yucky. <laughs> Go on, it's another day. I was too tired yesterday to edit the vlog, so today, or this vlog is gonna be a two day vlog. Uh, we just got home after leaving the boys at school and preschool, and we were talking in the car about how um, odd it feels uh, that everything is so different, uh, recommendation wise, in Sweden compared to, I mean, the US is the big comparison because that's where we like get a lot of. Uh, information from or whatever and just the fact that even though Michael is not feeling well the boys are still in school and preschool and I even read up on the recommendations just now because I started getting a bit stressed about it and it says that even if a family member um, has COVID-19 that they like tested positive for COVID-19 kids can and should still go to school and preschool uh, in the same family which is I don't know, it's weird compared to all the very, very much stricter <laughs> restrictions in other parts of the world. But apparently, like, kids aren't a big factor in the spread of the virus, because kids don't really spread it that much. And, I mean, yeah. Okay, so we're kind of just sitting here, um, biding our time, or just waiting until it's time to go pick up the boys, and then go have that, like house meeting that I hope I mentioned earlier today. I think I did. I've been fo focusing on this exam and I handed it in just now so that's done and now I'm gonna shift gears to the whole house planning thing and uh, I'm excited. I mean I I have a hard time containing myself. Michael I think is more anxious maybe? Yeah. Yeah because all of this stuff is just more uh, nerve-wracking for him. For me it's like happy excitement like oh gosh all of this is happening this is becoming real and to him it's more like oh this is all happening this is becoming real so <laughs> yeah we'll see how this goes <sighs> oh also i probably am not going to film much while we're there uh, unless we get there before the other people the house people um or if we stay there after they've gone but I'm not going to film when they're there, obviously, because uh, that would be awkward. Uh, but yeah, we might film a little bit, I don't know. But we're mostly just going to talk. And yeah, so but I'll see you afterwards, maybe. So we have a crying baby in the back and we just said goodbye to the house builders. But yeah, here's <laughs> here is the plot of land that we would like to buy if we can afford it. Um, I know we can't see much, but that's probably for the best right now anyway. But yeah, we're excited. We're, we're, we're still uh, positive, but obviously it could become way too expensive. But for now, it looks promising. Oh gosh, I am exhausted. I don't know if you can tell from my face, but I have been uh, yawning like every two seconds for the past hour I feel like um, it's been a taxing day just because I think all of the like emotional build-up and stuff and like I said we don't know if um, if this is gonna go through if this is actually gonna happen with the house and everything or with this specific uh, piece of land but piece of land sounds like it's such a big thing I don't know if there's any better word in English but yeah it's it's a little piece of land where we want to build a house uh, but like I said so far it looks good and uh, now I think the next hurdle is gonna be the bank in getting the loan that we need to build the house that we want on this piece of land. <laughs> um, so it's exciting and kind of scary and at the same time I'm also um, getting I think sadder and sadder about the whole puppy thing because we haven't heard anything from the breeder so I'm assuming at this point that we have not been picked to buy one of the puppies and it's just really hard for me not to know. I just wish that we could have either a yes or a no so that I could kind of reset my brain and uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's rough hoping and hoping and hoping and not knowing if it's actually gonna happen. So yeah, it's just, it's been, like I said, a tiring day, but a good day overall. Um, and now I'm gonna end the video, so yeah.
please like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more of our family videos and we will see you maybe tomorrow and thank you for watching today hey doodle